What is up everyone? Bon Jovi fans, how's everyone doing? Just got out of the concert and uh, we'll have a more extended vlog. I took a lot of video and uh, even talked a little bit stepping out, stepping in of the arena here. And I'm in Austin, Texas right now and I had a good time. I had a good time. Uh, the band is just on point. Absolutely awesome. Phil X kicks ass. You know, the lighting and everything was, was, was fine. Uh, I think I've seen bigger productions in the past, but you know, hey man, rock and roll and everything. The, the lighting was on point. I enjoyed it. Uh, David Bryan on the keys was awesome. Band looked like they had a lot of energy, looked like they're having a good time. Um, you know, and John himself, a lot of energy up there, moving around a lot more than I've seen him in the uh, last couple of tours. Um, everything just looked awesome, except of course, you know, the elephant in the room, and I know but it, everybody's thinking it. How was it in person? Um, and it wasn't good, man. It was what it sounded like on the YouTube videos, maybe even worse. Um, you know, singing along can only help so much. Some of the hits, when everybody's singing, that helps. I'd say that some of the hits, you know, uh, You Give Love a Band Name went over really well. Um, that was the first big hit that they played, so everybody was just pumped up in the entire arena. Uh, and I really enjoyed Roller Coaster. It's one of my favorite Bon Jovi songs. They played that. That came as a surprise, and I really enjoyed that. Um, but other than that, you know... Um, uh, actually, uh, surprisingly, I really enjoyed Sleep When I'm Dead, even though that's one that they play all the time. You know, maybe feels a little played out live, but it uh, went over really well. That was a really fun one. And uh, there were some that just, yeah, the vocals, it's just not good, man. I mean, not good. Um, it, it looks like his voice, you know, you say that expression, shot, whatever. It just looks like it's blown, like he's blown a gasket in there, man. It just he just can't do it. He, he, it's really bad. It's just barely good enough to enjoy the show. If it's if it's any worse, you know, if two more years pass and it's, you know, two years worse, just like from 19 to 22, or if it's that bad, you know, as we go from 22 to 24, 25, there's just no way. You know, they're not going to be able to tour anymore. There's no way. Um, it can't get any worse. This is the worst it can get. And actually, you know, still give people a decent time. Um, the background vocals can only help so much. There were even points where he wasn't even singing verses. He was just letting the crowd sing it, which he does what he has to do. He put on a good show. The band was awesome. I really enjoyed it. I had a really good time. I'll have more in-depth thoughts with my vlog video coming out soon. These are just my, my thoughts as I, as I step out of the arena. But I did feel, you know, that I'll be there for you in that last song. I was really happy that they played that one last song like they did in St. Louis. And he walked off into the sunset, man. It just feel like felt like that that was it right there. I did not feel like, uh, I mean, obviously they're going to continue to play. They got three more shows, but I don't feel like I'm going to be, you know, attending any more Bon Jovi concerts. I could be wrong. My hell, I might go in, in Dallas here coming up or Houston. Who knows? But I, I don't think so. I think, uh, I think that's a wrap, man. I mean, I know he could come close to me, come close to where I live, and then it's like tempting, right? But. I feel like this is it, man. I feel like this one was it. You know, unless his voice miraculously gets better, but you have to have, everyone's gotta be on point. The band has to be on point, which they were, you know, and the voice, unfortunately, has to be on point, and it's just not on point anymore. He sounds really bad, and there are certain moments, and I don't wanna get on him too much, but there were certain moments where I almost had to cover my ears. I was like, oh man, really bad. You know, bad medicine, he seems particularly bad, and um, who says you can't go home with things particularly bad, which are like the two big encore songs. So um, it's a good idea to come in with I'll Be There For You, sings that one a little better. No big surprises other than I'll Be There For You, maybe Roller Coaster. No big surprises. No tour debuts in this one. No um, no other songs from 2020. I was hoping maybe get lucky and could hear for the first time live on this tour. Um, song I really like called Blood in the Water on the new album didn't happen. Maybe a surprise, you know, something shocking these days, gonna, didn't happen. Of course not. I mean, just kind of dreaming on that. But all in all, I had a really good time. But I feel like it's the end. I've been a fan for 30 years. I'll continue to be a fan. I hope they put out more albums and stuff like that. But as far as going to live shows, he's just, unfortunately, he's blown a gasket. You guys have a great day. Let me know what you think. Talk to you next time.